कृपया ध्यान दीजिए द लैंग्वेज यूज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट मे नॉट बी फिट फॉर कंजम्पन वी वॉन्ट यू ट्रेड केयरफुली बट लिसन यार डोंट बी सो कंजर्वेटिव What a huge day it is, folks! Today, huge, huge day. Elvis's death anniversary for me, a big, big moment. Also, Parsi New Year and Independence Day. They also slightly important, I suppose. Depends on where you come from. But uh, just want to quickly mention. Everybody's talking about saving the earth, saving the planet. It starts with the rich or the elite or the ones who are lucky or more privileged. The so-called white privilege of India, the brown privilege, if I may say so. We we waste too much food. It's, it's I just see it all the time. You just waste too much food. You order in excess and abundance, and you just waste too much. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I've chewed on these halls, and being a diabetic, I shouldn't be doing that. So I'm going to stop. Hmm. I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to put it back in like a recycled halls, which I'll put in my pocket and then later on consume. So throughout the day, I will share this one halls with myself, so that at the end of the day, I've wasted nothing. But I, I've also not taken too much sugar in because I've only had about five six sucks, if you like. And then you know, there's a break and another five six sucks till the end of the day, by which I think I've all standards are, have been fulfilled in terms of you know doing the right thing for Earth, environment, health, myself, etc. If so, I may, uh, yes, Amit. Please, you may. You are wrong on the health front. Okay, Doctor Amit uh, Doshi is now going to give me a lecture. <laughs> the only Doctor Doshi I knew was a very famous vet. Okay, very good with dashings and cocker spaniels. But let's find out. Uh, when you take a halls or a sweet or something with that degree of sugar, you moisten it and then you put it on plastic. Yeah, it will pull the plastic off. Oh. So now, when you next time put it into your mouth, you will be getting residuals wow. of plastic, so which are going. What you're saying is, I'm going. To, can you believe that? I'm going to get immunity now from plastic because it's like a small plastic <laughs> vaccine entering my body But slowly and surely, the, making me stronger. What about the bacteria? Well, I'm so sure that is like a, tons of bacteria. Of course, sticking. yeah, no, so I'm bacteria is, friendly, or as the GST guys say, compliant. Yeah, doesn't it, matter. It seems like he doesn't care about that part. I it. don't care about that yeah. part. He doesn't. Guys, yeah. really, do you really? I feel so disappointed that you think I'm one of those guys who's worried about fastidious <laughs> about things. I'm the guy who licks the wall if the ice cream is good. You know, if it's oh, that's I, 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 you, thank you, sir. Um, it reminds me of ice cream was made in India. Hint, patriot. Yeah, lo- yes. lovely. Right? Yes. <laughs> Fact I found out a couple of months ago. Mm. But this one, the uh, refilling the halls and eating it reminds me of Shah Rukh Khan from Fir Bhi Dil Hai Hindustani, where he would eat half a banana and carry it around. He used to be a journalist, right? Oh, Which yeah. is a bad word now. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Which doesn't exist. It's extinct. <laughs> <laughs> correspondent they have, but not journalist. Yeah, just yeah. correspondent. Oh. Correct. Correct. So, yeah. so super patriotic of you. Sarah thank you. Sarah. Thank you so much. I'm all about the country. You know. Absolutely. I'm very irritated. With the greetings, though, uh, don't get me started on that because you know after some time people in the lane wishing you happy Independence Day. I mean, I mean, like really, I, I could, it was I, a day, man. Yesterday, as a contrarian personality, it was just irritating me after some time. You know, I, anyway, the whole fact that everybody is so happy for some reason. It also really makes you. Want to rethink the color scheme yeah. for a while? Oh, really? oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I was just talking about personal issues from my side. Hey, aesthetics and all. You want to? You'll get a knock on the door from the ED or, or the FBI if, if you're Donald Trump. It depends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so my the, one of the questions that I've always asked, right, is was it always like this, or did this become something that's happened in the last few years? As was it always this degree of not at no, all? No, no, no. no. We had one like flag this, right? in the whole of South Bombay. Yeah, it was, and and you know you couldn't find it. I uh, did. There was a. Freaking marathon on marine drives or something like that, right? They shut the road down and people were running. I took the dogs to the oval and I couldn't walk. Yep. There were hundreds of people, all of them from certain income group. I must say, not one of them BMW compliant, <laughs> and they were just you know running around like headless chicken. It was uh, it was definitely in my society. Yeah, in my society, they sent flags over to each flag. Yeah, even yeah, we got that. Yeah, then, yeah. Yeah. No, I know, and then then the the society committee sat in the garden. Yeah. and uh, made an analysis of who had pinned the flag. How? Wow, oh, wow, amazing. Desh Drohi now is defined by not. Putting the flag up. So it's, it's a sampling exercise. Wow. That's what it is. It's a sampling exercise. I got a WhatsApp forward, right? About like, hey, be aware. Uh, and again, I'm in a bunch of Guju groups because I'm a Guju by uh, birth. Doctor Doshi. Oh uh, yes, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I got a WhatsApp group that listen, all of these anti Modi and anti BJP people, right? On 16th of August, be careful because all of them, you know what they're going to do? They're going to look for how you have put your flags, where yeah. you have DPs? disposed yeah. of your flags. DPs? No, no, where you DP disposed check. of is your flags. Is it on flags. the floor? Oh, is it on the ground? 
that they're yeah. going to go back. So please point, make yeah. sure that when you like, I'm just like, my God, the meta levels of uh, thinking around this. Yeah. Right? That I mean, like, okay, not yeah. just is it that we must have a flag, but that we must be disposed of properly because we don't want people to make fun of Modi. Not because we must yeah, dispose of properly because that's wait, 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 wait. the law. How can everybody hijack the so-called country? <laughs> the country is not equ- equ- uh, you can't equate it with the politician. The politician, the country are not exactly the same thing. It's the put the flag up. I'm pro Modi. Don't put the flag up. I'm anti Modi. Who, who, who's thinking is this? But when they say. Come to your house and say, "Here is a flag. Put this up." Uh-huh. That's it. just a test of which okay, side that, you're on. The, yeah. the guys who came to our house, they were holding it like it was Wimbledon's trophy, <laughs> and giving it to me like a well played or something. I, I didn't want to say. I it. didn't know. And that. my wife, who can't keep her mouth shut, was like, "Give it back." I was, "No, no, you can't no, give no, it back. No, don't it's the flag. Back. Yeah, you behave yourself." Back. So uh, they apparently dropped two off at my house, and I didn't know this, and uh, they were put up. I mean, like they, my guy, the guy who. But a lot of people are doing it out of fear, you know, which is a scary thing. It's like you better comply. Why, why rub people the wrong way? Okay, fear is the wrong. Is, you know what I mean? No, there is some pride also. There, there, there's, there's definitely like, pride. People now. like us are, are the ones who are like, oh, you might do it because otherwise you don't want to listen to shit. Otherwise, most of these people... The thing is that the, 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 the insidious and interesting thing about nationalism is just that, right? That it is a... Uh, most of the people who will be nationalists are not evil people per se. Yeah. They are not people who are... It's just people who are showing pride, right? I mean, like... Uh, again, I am not comparing our current government to the Nazis. I am not doing that. Okay, but well, why would you even say that then? Because well, I'm well, about probably to eighty percent would have got it anyway. You just quiet. It's your unnecessary. Yeah, this is an internet show. Really? There is a Nazi reference. We have Unne- officially come to it. it for God's sake. Why underline it? You know, why <laughs> no, don't shoot us now? But, but, no, but I mean, like uh, the idea. Uh, you know, I mean, like the thought that all Germans were not evil, right? At that point in time, even though there was a degree of support for that, because that was nationalism that's the yeah. that that is what nationalism well, does you can see in it. his nationalism he killed communists who were german as well so yeah. so so let's understand that nationalism <laughs> no, no, was so very na- perverse no, no, so but i get what you're saying the, idea of the whole definition was yes yeah. uh, for the german people for the german race Correct. others don't count so the end justifies the means the most nationalist people i saw mm-hmm. were mm-hmm. the folks who didn't put up the flags the, the bmc issue standard issue flag mm-hmm. and they took old t-shirts yeah. and, and they and painted it like yeah. saffron white wow. and yeah. green yeah. and I, I thought that was super so, like anti bureaucratic moment but yet, exactly, yet right? still like, I'm nationalistic but not the way you want me to be I'm, I do it in my own I also style, call this right? people with lots of time people and I find that very irritating also I'm like you know I've got so much to watch on Netflix how can we do all this I mean come on yeah. it was very very but one thing we need to clarify for yes. all the, the trolls on Twitter we don't have uh, any people are unclear I have lots uh, we, okay people are unclear whether it was the 76th or the 75th Independence Day running running and I in India say, we use the term no, running it's the it is the 76th Independence it, it's Day it's going on to 76th 75th complete no no if you count yes, the number of Independence Day 47 twice shouting. then 40, 47 is the first one right 47 has a birth but they say 48 will be the first one no, no? 40, no. 47 is birth in, but we've had this conversation every year no we have not 47 is 47 is 0 right from a mathematical point of view 47 is 0 not 1 no if you take it as 1 then it's 76 it's 75 years of independence, of independence but it's 76 year. Independence correct correct day. because you're taking 47 as one then no no but 47 has to be one because independence well, day is the day you achieve well, you, independence right? your, what's your birthday it doesn't work like birthday birthday birthday's birthday is what but, but, just give me the date but it's my like well, my birthday is September 14th. It's okay, coming so up. September, September 14th. Oh, damn. Why did you have to do something? <laughs> coming up? Oh, we have to remember that. But uh, so, so, so you say when you were uh, one year old, 12 months after you were born, you were one year old, right? Yep. You weren't uh, two years but old. But it's my second birthday. It is. Ah, correct. Okay, fair yeah. enough. But, uh, yeah, but what a boring conversation. We call it your first birthday, right? We, we, we but call, yeah. Yeah, these two are good. They're getting elections here. What is this stupid number calling? Indian men, you know, they're so happy. Wow, is it one? Is it two? No. Ah. Okay. Uh, so now that uh, I uh, can, I, can this, I just say yes. one thing? But they, they, there is a bit of aggression, passive yes. aggression. You want to call it that? There's when nothing, they come and tell you, okay, now we're having the flag hoisting, okay, we're going to do there's this. There's nothing passive about hitting toll at eight thirty in the morning. All that, all that is what I'm saying. Yeah. Eight thirty in the morning, it's, and they it's almost like the, the awkward silence if you're saying, "I'll try and come." You know, no. when you don't commit, huh. you, they expect us to put the chest out, salute the flag, and come running down. Uh, and I find this is all misplaced. I said no. I said I will not come. I I did say no to that, but 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 no. I mean. Can I tell you one more last thing because I know you hate elite institutions like clubs whose names I won't mention. I mean, the whole thing about flag hoisting there at eight thirty a.m. and all that. You the went? rain starts. I, I'm there to work out, and uh, I try to avoid uh, all these standing for one minute. Okay. Not because I like to breathe at that time. Um, 
<laughs> we'll cut long story short. It's the blue coloured worker who goes and hoists the flag in the maidan of the club. Uh-huh. You know, six, seven of them in the pouring well, rain. Everybody else is sitting in the All broad the rich veranda. Fans. No, no, no. We, are, we love it. Yes, and yes. And yes, ringing the little it. bells. There's something wrong with that picture, you know. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. love our India. Jai Hind, Jai Hind. Those buggers are standing out. And all they have is religion and politics, you know. It's mm-hmm. like that's all we fed them. The opiate of the masses. Give it yeah. to them. And we sit back on our chairs. The waiter. What uh, happened to me? Jai Hind! I mean, come on! <laughs> So I I I, uh, dude, I uh, the club I that you're know. talking about is a club that uses bells. I don't take names. They, lo- you, they I mean, use they use bells to Nazis. call people. <laughs> really? There are bells on yeah. the tables and you're supposed yeah, to ting, the ting, ting, oh, ting, wow. to call. Really, they're not the only club. And I'm like totally, that, uh, like uh, you can't the, justify the all this. You know, the crown, uh-huh? ting wala bell. No, no, it's like this little tiny little bell that's sitting on the middle of a table and you're supposed to go like ting ting ting. See, see, the British in their at their racist best when they were, and now of course they are less racist than we are perhaps. But left behind a few things in the institutions. And that bell was one of those. No, but keep in mind. We're talking about 18th century, 19th century. You but know? we're in the 22nd century. Yes, so the bell has to go. <laughs> it, it just really doesn't does. work. For God's oh God. sake, you can't walk around take calling your friend like. See, that. I, mean, I would like to. There's certain people I would like to. I mean, like like Shreyas. What do they, what Shreyas do they do when they? Where is the bell for Shreyas, who was the anchor of the show? Speaking of Shreyas, oh, right, ring that fucking bell, somebody. Speaking of Shreyas, I shall exit. What do they say when they come? They're like, you tinkled. I don't know, but the old members who do that, it's it's ghastly, bro. It's you just feel, you know, you feel like apartheid or something. You feel like what the hell's going on? In you mean? How far does a sound? I mean, you just can't. How far you does can't sound carry? Anyway. <laughs> My God! But again, it's it's a strange thing that we look back prejudices in the world. It's where they don't basically they don't understand the ignorance of the whole thing. They don't understand what they're doing is ridiculous. Yeah. You know you, that you call a human being by going ting ting ting. And I know Amit, it's, it's pet peeve, but rightly so. I mean, what? How yeah, can you justify? Yeah. How can you call someone like this without it being a piece of comedy? Yeah. If it's a piece of comedy, great. And you know, an old man comes slowly and goes in the wrong direction because of bad hearing. Like, I like see on, that in a sitcom. On this episode, we tinkle in. Shreyas, we tinkle in Shreyas. By the way, Shreyas is our host. He was running a little late because of the traffic jam. Uh, he His house is just opposite the office and uh, uh, obviously heavy traffic crossing the road. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> none of you have uh, greeted me with Vande Matram. Vande Matram! Vande Matram! Already a red flag. We'll, yeah. we'll get <laughs> yes. to that. One and point. I was late because people. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to talk about these people. I don't want to name names. But there were some people who took these flags and they aren't disposing of the flags in the right way. And I was the one who was. You and Shanaz. Right. I saw Shanaz on her uh, treasury on her Insta feed. Same thing. Yeah. D- d- good Parsi. Didn't come through on fifteenth. Sixteenth she's there. Come on, pick up the flags. <laughs> Stop littering. <laughs> somebody's got to do it. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. But uh, she has brother uh, Kajal. You must hear this story. I think the weekend has been a long weekend. I suddenly got. Messages from Shriya's late night saying, Suresh, when is here? Any message? So I sent five messages saying, piss off, buzz off, whatever, hoping I'd have a little banter. He didn't even see the messages. So why the hell did you send me a message? No, no, I saw the messages. No, there's no blue tick on that. I saw it through the preview notification. I just uh, didn't reply to them. Super Gen Z. Why? I was like, I but, wish but, I was close enough to why Suresh to you, do but, it. But why did but, you do this? this Suresh, when is here? Any message? So I opened the channel for let's abuse each other, have some fun like we, like we always do, leg pulling style. And the bugger doesn't respond. Why does he call the old man up? Make me go through all this and then just ignore me. I, I was I, I, then I thought what Suresh said, must have said. Oh God, please <laughs> tell him not now. Yeah. Did he did he write the word bomber in the message? Uh, I should have. There were many words. There were many, many words. words. It's a book. I have to uh, no, spend no, actually, the next weekend. They were short messages ending with off. There was piss off. There was buzz off, and a couple of more varieties. You know, I'm like a left arm spinner who can move the ball both ways and also. There's a googly also, but there's also yeah. the wrong left arm Chinaman. Everything. Then okay, it's not called the Chinaman anymore. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, it's not called China. Yeah. Yeah, that's your worry. One day, matram. <laughs> <laughs> She <laughs> asked, remember one thing, okay? You're from Nag- Nagpur. So when they take us to hang, na, yeah. they'll make you, you suffer the most, okay? Because the people from the heartland who do it wrong, they're the ones who are, the, are most hated. That makes us two people from Nagpur, by the way. You're also, from, also Nagpur. from Nagpur. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, born, okay. raised, engineered in Nagpur. So my hanging will take two minutes. You guys will be 15 minutes with Kirtans <laughs> and all that going on. Oh, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, like, uh, so the night they won the election last time around, 2019, we went to the RSS headquarters just to drive around and there was nobody there. I, there was just like, Old I hope you weren't and naive and asked Daru Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Nagpur, Nagpur. This is why is, all you stay with the North Indian variation of BJP. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they eat everything and drink everything. Yeah. The moment you start going west and south, it's like cancel. You thought there would be a celebration there, like an after party that you can catch? They, I mean, we didn't get invites. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was, Next time I'll make sure it happens. Thank, I'll, you. Yeah. thank you. The yeah. after party is ED going to certain houses. <laughs> 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 and then ordering off the menu. E- EDM. Hey, Rahul, bhai. <laughs> 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 <laugh
<laughs> okay, brother. Uh, where were we? So she has your charge. I'm, I'm in charge. We've just been venting. Well, quickly, quick word. He hasn't spoken about Independence Day. Uh, as a staunch patriot, a man who loves these dolphins. Absolutely. What did you do on the 15th of August, 2022? Uh, first, I've been trying to get a new uh, birth certificate because I'm trying to become an Agni Veer. So uh, oh, I'm trying I to fit all the criteria. Tried, after Commonwealth Games, you want to take part in the under 20s or something. The world under 20s is on Instagram. Same higher, man. I mean, that's not real nationalism right the real what nationalism is? is when you you enter... win glory for your team by cheating it's been done all over the world no biggie that's true yeah. that's true yeah. i might consider look that. at russia yeah yeah i just feel that in russia is not even cheating yeah it's, it's just, just like, like this is yeah, how we do it cheating is something they haven't even heard of yeah. <laughs> like, uh. I just think that uh, my family is very unhappy with how I celebrated my Independence Day. Which is? Uh, I didn't do anything. I didn't Why? do anything Independence related. Oh. Uh, but my family was very pissed because my family is playing with yourself uh, an act of independence. Absolutely. Or dependence actually. Self dependence. Self dependence. I think yeah. anything. That's a paradox, yeah. right, Vinny? Thanks for telling me. Anything so I'm that a failure, even there. <laughs> uh, anything that you're doing us. because you want to do it and not because the state wants to do it, that is independence. Okay. So can you give me three examples? Uh, coming late. Uh, that's something. Uh, <laughs> well done, dude. Thank well, you. That, you've really started. The state well. wants that or doesn't want that? Uh, the state wants me to come early, which mm. is why I'm coming late. This is an act of rebellion. This is how. Wait, I, wait, is this, how is this a conversation between you and the state about when you come? Oh, sorry, not that. Oh, uh, that, that that that's a that will happen in a couple of years <laughs> as you get more progressive. But I just want to say I did my bit for the state. What and for the centre Well on the 14th of August Which is a Pakistan Independence Day For some reason All the police were out on that day mm. And they at 5.57 They stopped me AM in the morning And made us go into one lane In Marine Drive yeah. And so suddenly We had a traffic jam at 5.57 And there were five cars In the whole area And suddenly we were pushed Into one lane for some reason And then they held uh, They had nakabandis everywhere And they stopped us And there was a horrible traffic Friday and Saturday So uh, I did my bit By not uh, you know rioting Not killing anyone Not blowing up anything Because th- those are the thoughts I had I'll be honest That's not very nationalistic of you No, hey, He didn't do it to like not do that That's oh, nationalistic oh, You're killing the puns You'll get a memo next time <laughs> Sir is late But he's planned He's perfectly executed <laughs> He set up the bowler For that one And unfortunately It's a no ball But let's carry on uh, Kajal how was your independence Oh yeah where's Kajal You don't say a word Kajal will you talk uh, No I have uh, No no I have said the word No one's listening No to Kajal me, so There, there was a lovely listening. message For you before you say anything And I forgot uh, Rishi find that message About the book reading you did Somebody was captivated By the book reading you did About uh, some other Author's book Chetan and, Bhagat huh? And made it very interesting Or something Okay, while we yeah, find yeah, I that, read out a sex scene by Chetan Bhagat. It, it is extremely interesting. Can you just read that now? Yeah, It'll help our show. No, show is really plummeting. <laughs> it's like Can four you? pages long. Uh, That's but okay. No, That'll come on the podcast. We, we will get breakfast. Shares done. Huh? Yeah. Uh, come on, Kajal. Uh, one Indian girl reading was far better than the novel itself. Which stupid novel will you make funnier or better next time? What a nice compliment. From Saurabh Wait, nice one of the comments Is saying constitution was. We have to delete that comment. No, 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 no. That, Yeah, yeah, yeah That's, that's not careful. cool That's not cool I'll ban this person uh, right uh, now uh, yeah. uh, Maybe, no, maybe no, talking about uh, Some other country huh. Sorry, Kajal I read Berlin. Give us a little bit I hate to use the phrase Tit She's bit. giving a little bit She's uh, giving a little bit Okay Okay. No, so basically Chetan Bhagat has this uh, this weird idea Of how women behave during sex So his wow. The protagonist In One image. Indian Girl Oh. <laughs> but listen, the protagonist in One Indian Girl, she's going on a date and she goes to get a Brazilian wax. Okay, I know what uh, that is. Does it- you know who that is, okay? Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you've you've had experience with the Brazilian wax. No, it's still, it's still in my generation, the phrase. That's why, you know. I, was, I get very scared <laughs> when you start talking, you guys, and then, you know, I have to pretend I know. But this I know. Uh, of course, Parish doesn't know so he, he's too young. So this, yeah. this Brazilian wax is called completely bare, okay? But this girl goes one step ahead and gets completely bare with flair. She gets 30 Swarovski diamonds embedded into her down there. Wow. Okay? And I was just like, Chetan Bhagat has From never had to, to pee with 30 Swarovski diamonds embedded down there. So he has no clue. What? Wow. That's called Vajazzle. I, I, you know how she kills sex for me no, just now? Yes, it is. Well, now I'm thinking money. You, know, you, you go down there and suddenly the last thing in your mind is sex. Because like 30 diamonds. <laughs> Wait, what if I take three out? Will she even know? I'm confused. How do you have sex without money? Oh, oh. I, I, we do have, but we oh, get receipts. So for us, it's a transaction. It's like an invoice. Ways. You have to get yes, it reimbursed. Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes. got it. So your your thing is bad. Your thing is more like a foreign country where you pay cash and it just happens. No, no, I'm like, fully you Indian. Have to pay GST. GST. Yeah. GST everywhere in India. GST. You have to understand that here every rupee is looked at properly, especially once you become famous and oppose the government. That's Absolutely. when they catch you for having sex and not getting a receipt. <laughs> no. What you like, young boy? What is he? No receipt. 
But that why. is that is wild. That, what where? It comes from. It's all <laughs> South Asian. I, 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 and it's horrible and wrong. Yeah. Strategically, look past that. <laughs> do you do you <laughs> think the, the nicest thing we've heard so far is uh, thirty diamonds in the vagina? Yeah. That's been the nicest thing, you know, <laughs> fair, fairly it's quite nice. Even, why thirty? Was she was she like celebrating thirty years or something? You asked Chetan Bhagat. No, no, that was that was part of the offer. Oh, Chetan Bhagat go, goes. Uh, Chetan Bhagat intended to give the waxing salon more of a prominence than the two people in the sex scene. Beautiful. So she's only thinking about the offer that she got in the waxing it's salon. It's a product See, placement. Always, he's always caring about small businesses. No, yeah, also, that's what's I think he's a step ahead of everybody <laughs> because we all expected sex, 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 but he went into some other realm. So he fooled you in a, in a sense. So that's good writing. Yeah. yeah. Because we don't want to be a predictable writer. Writing, be like absolutely. this podcast. You know what's coming next? What's coming next? Is, what's coming next is I want to talk about your experience in Nagpur. What was? Uh, how was? Okay. What was Nagpur? This is off the I bat. Just, huh? No, no. I just, yeah. I just want to ask. <laughs> Suddenly, the ball is doing things. <laughs> just going propaganda. for your shots. Uh. He was an engineer in Nagpur. It's a different story altogether. By VNIT. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's the. Okay, yeah. the two Nagpur boys are having a personal conversation. Kajal, <laughs> let's go and get our waxing done right now. No, no. Should we do an oh. impression of two guys talking about a city where other people don't have an idea? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, have yeah. you checked out that signal? It's great. Oh, yeah. Are no, but that garden. Have you? Yeah, and ah, you had, should. Have you had Pani Puri? Oh, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. It's the t- kind of taste that they have. It's just beyond that signal. Hey, and they put yeah, diamond right. dalne ka <laughs> wax ke baad koi hai idhar. Mathur naam ka koi hai. Na- Nagpur mein there is a jeweler called Batuk Bhai. You should go there. Wow. Wow! <laughs> it even sounds like you're behind. What a boy! But you know what? I, I just wanted. In all this, there was a critique of Chetan Bhagat, which no one has picked up. You, everybody wants to be a comedian here, so all three of us trying to find our own joke. And poor Kajal set up a whole thing, which is actually a critique on a male writer who she thinks is highly overrated and should. And males should not write about sex from a female perspective. Hundred. We have just not come to that. We just or because we're writing men. about it, write about it realistically. Because no woman would take a guy to for a fish dinner when she wanted to have sex with him. Okay, I asked all women this. They all said no. Yeah, it is a smelly uh, option. So I guess. Yeah. Well, if you're married, maybe you will because you don't really care. But uh, before that, when there's some sort of interest from both sides, in that sense, you're right. I can't understand. Hey, she's right. Why? Well, because even the dirtiest, I am the dirtiest, as in unhygienic person I know. <laughs> even the, even I plan. You know, I actually soap the areas and all that when I expect to find when I was younger. You right. Know, uh, find people. Dry shampoo. <laughs> Dry shampoo is for the dogs now. <laughs> when you it's were too expensive for us. What do you mean by you dogs. were younger? When did that stop? Uh, okay, I'm blaming age. It kind of stopped before it started. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right to point that out. Yeah, I ain't no, I'm no jeweler. I just couldn't get a girl. <laughs> Love That's what you need. You need thirty diamonds. That's what yeah. you need. No, but let's listen this, to Kajal this, because this I, forced po- humility. No, but but I, I like what you're saying in the sense that we when we when men write about women, women write about men. Sometimes when they get it wrong, you just look so stupid, right? I mean, as a female uh, person, a female reading what's happening, it's like what? I mean, is this a sex scene or a high school yeah. movie? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> and the worst part is, is uh, Chetan is trying to talk like a woman, so he's like, "Oh my you know, god!" Um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, she, she thought to herself, "Sex, after all, was just like getting into IIM on the bus." Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> so he's thinking like a woman, but as Chetan, you know, as so Chetan. He, yeah. So well, I don't the know the mental gymnastics you have to do to get to that conclusion. Is next level. Like how? Who in their right mind equates IITs with sex? Like nobody's having sex there. I am. In I fact, am. it's the it's the reverse correlation. Right. Whenever I've toured uh, to these IITs and IIMs, they always talk about how they can't find girls. Exactly. The girls are non-girls. There's no question of women. Don't bring your mother here because we are so starved and frustrated. <laughs> it goes in that. No, it does. Wow. So the last thing on, yeah, I mean, sex right. is on their mind, wow. but yeah, sex yeah, is yeah. not available. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. a you dichotomy. Have confused, wow. You have confused IIT with IIM. Okay, IIM they have women. Uh, that's true. Everybody in IIM, IIM does. And uh, now, now. But you look look back 10-15 no, years, always. not so much. It was never are you no, this woman is getting out of you know your place, woman. Man. In one day after Independence Day, uh, this is what happens. Oh, you say one day matram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not making fun, huh? Kajal. Not about the woman thing that we were making fun, but in a sweet way. You know, I don't have the guts. You know, so, there needs to be some penalty for uh, microaggressions like these. Kajal, what do you think? What is like in this just society? What can we do when Cyrus tells a woman that he'll show her her place? What is something that we can do? laugh at him and slap him and just move on, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> hopping out. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are scared because you're not being beaten enough by the ladies. I have all the time. Yeah. So Kajal knows my pain. She 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 doesn't think of it seriously. Have you ever been for a waxing session like anywhere? I just in your body? I told you on the whole story on that Women's Day thing no. in Bangalore. They made me and Saukar shave. They woke us up at five in the morning. He got the female uh, girl, female girl being the girl, and I got the 
woke being an important part of my culture mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how do i put this politely but <laughs> the guy's name is ojas he's a lovely guy but he's not born a woman so i got him uh, them okay and so they, you take your clothes off and they shave your legs fully and all that well, not shave, shave not wax wax, wax. so they put that Holy whole thing wax. on and then, and then it pains you know when you take your a long process man it's very painful and my hands i don't know how hairy actually my arm hair is pretty decent for a male i, I normally thought i was like hairless but i'm not and, and so when i came back home and I, i was walking my dogs in my shorts and all that uh, i saw people were staring at me you know two days later <laughs> Because your legs and arms, it's, it's really not natural skinny, for male yeah. to have legs and arms. It's just so clean. It wow. just doesn't happen. Or women after thirty. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> no, I'm. I what would I know? I'm not Chetan Bhagat. I'm not. <laughs> I have not studied the female species from a perspective of diamonds or anything. Speaking like that. of Chetan Bhagat, again, the first book that he wrote, Five Point Someone, right? Yeah. There is a there's no there's there's a sex scene in it as well. It's very like sort of vanilla first time mm-hmm. having sex sort of a scene. But what stuck with me is that there's a scene where a girl is driving a car, right? And she's driving the car barefoot. and this guy the guy who's sitting next to her looks at her barefoot on the pedal and he feels turned on by that but that's a foot fetish bro oh, that's a car it, fetish wait what's what a car mean? fetish not not even a foot fetish it's like oh, her foot on the metal felt so mm. <laughs> so like, what a lucky she, guy <laughs> ridiculous it was that's what turns him on is <laughs> that go through what we have to go through we have to, we have to go to harder <laughs> porn and harder <laughs> porn and harder <laughs> porn as you get older it's this guy like he looks at a mercedes oh, i'm ready i mean come on for oh, god's sake go to ludhiana the guy will get late every one minute in his mind because there are beautiful cars everywhere ah <laughs> oh, no, in chetan bhagat sex scenes No one gets turned on <laughs> because it's just so weird. <laughs> and and you, she says, what about that? Men will be feeling really bad now. You know, this Kajal is making us feel terrible. Yeah, go on, go on, Kajal. Then no, so I was I was reading it out in a panel on Twitter. Okay, and uh, there were seven people on the panel translating my reading into Hindi, which was hilarious. Right. But at the end of it, I asked people. I said, is anyone turned on? And then there was silence, and then one guy was like, "I'm slightly turned on." <laughs> slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Abbas is always like that. You know, it doesn't take much. I mean, you know, the years, years and years of repression. It's a special ability now. Very special, yeah. I mean, he. You talk about cars turning you on. For Abbas, it could be just wind. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about special abilities, I don't know if you guys have heard. There's a Japanese man who has been earning a living out of doing nothing. Beautiful. His whole life. Beautiful. So there's this guy. One second. It took them that long What? to catch up with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What he has. I mean, this is our thing for years. What's this guy talking about? Bring him to Lok Sabha. Rajya Sabha. Even better. Bring him to Vidhan Sabha. I'll take him for a tour. I got people in cars. Nobody knows who they are, and we all just stop and wait for them to pass. They, how do you do, how do you not think? What, what is nothing like? How do you earn doing nothing? Yeah, he doesn't have a job. So right? No, no. He so he, so he job. advertises his services as someone who does nothing. So okay. he's invited to events to do nothing. Correct. He won't initiate a conversation. He won't make a first move. He'll just be there because his whole life he has been told like by Modi ji with oh. the press. No, no, like Manmohan Singh actually. Oh, Manmohan, because, oh, even because Manmohan. he's coming and he's not picking any other party. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, it's a great concept. It's Nothing a very good mean. concept. He has just made it. He has just made it his thing. So, so all, all struggling comedians on this podcast, and that's all of us. This is something to look yeah, forward. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, we can absolutely. a way out. No, yeah. Why would I invite someone future, to my event to stand around and do nothing? I think at that point it's like a joke. It's like okay, let's call this guy who does nothing, and the more famous he gets, people are like okay, let's call. It's like a clown that you get at a party, but instead of that, you just it's get a guy who does nothing. It's a great paradox. So he becomes really successful for doing nothing. Yeah. Right. And then he's a celebrity for doing nothing. It's perfect. And wherever he goes, he's like, get this guy. Sharukh Kumar, not Sharukh Kumar. I want Mr. Hiroshima. And Mr. Hiroshima comes. This is like an episode of <laughs> Seinfeld. It is. It's, it more, is, it's yeah. more Larry David. It's more Larry David. I get it immediately, and I love it. I love the concept. Wow. What uh, What are specialized services that the three of you can offer if you? Had to that no one else is offering. I I actually am a very big fan of scratching. Okay. I feel people don't give it a, enough uh, thought. That's interesting. All right, and there's so much time in the day when you want to scratch and you can't. Why can't we take the sharam out of scratching? And like Vinny, you know, Vinny's a famous guy, and Vinny will just scratch me. I'm working hard. He, he does the scratching. You, know? ah. you pay him a little bit. But you think uh, you're a talented scratcher? Like you know the secrets of scratching. You know, because don't. I'll tell you the, the secret here, guys. And I'm not trying to be flippant. I bite my own nails. I still do, hmm. and because of that, I have like almost like predatorial skills. Ah. Like the other day, uh, we were fast asleep, and I just my hand hit my wife, and she screamed in pain, and not out of pleasure pain, just pure pain because of the talents. 
Okay. Three of my five, they, they're like weapons. Okay. When I get into a fight, I fight like a girl. I've always fought like okay. a girl. So I prefer to fight <laughs> girls. You know, because I'm really good at girl fighting. You know, in the sense that I scratch and, you know, I do all that. So when you say scratch... I you know, puts his hand back like a rail, you know, I'll... I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Real romance we are seeing. It. This is it's go. great. No. So you said three things, I'm done with one. One, really, okay. I'm sleeping, yeah, man. That's beautiful. I'm, sleeping yeah, with... I, sleeping okay, with, so that's not a joke because I did a mattress ad promo actually for many weeks where they paid people to sleep on the mattress and, and they were uh, they were logging it for over 30 days. Wow. So every night you were you were being shot sleeping and uh, your reactions in the day and all that. It was quite an interesting experiment. Damn, so damn, you again laugh at these things and suddenly the guy's earning money and the, thing. the guy they choose is like the ambassador for that mattress then. Oh, right. Because he enjoyed the sleep on that, it, which makes a lot of sense. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like John Abraham being on the bloody bed going up and down. Is yeah. no sense. You got this guy, let's call him Mr. Prabhu. Mr. Prabhu is fantastic. He loves that bed. He's gone through it for 30 days and he's performed well, as in his body and that bed have become one. Wow. You know, so, yeah. That, that's my dream job. What that makes your uh, sleeping he's unique money, yeah, and specialized? Like, you don't wake up from a sleep or what's the. I mean. I can fall asleep anywhere. Yeah, you can clean the podcast. Can, can, you, like, can you sleep in the next 30 minutes? In the he next will. 30, we still uh, have 30 minutes to go. Uh, no, in the podcast. I really yeah, want to see it live. It, 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 I mean, I could if I put my mind to it. That's yep. humiliating for all of us. Are you saying that you will go to sleep on... That's not if, the... If Silvery or Abbas were here, he'd have fallen asleep by now. <laughs> so unfortunately, you know... We Most uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's my thing, man. I, I would love to be paid to sleep. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful way to just tune out. Uh, again, let me clarify for those who just tuned in. It's paid to sleep, not paid to sleep with correct because he doesn't you don't take it further <laughs> yeah. your thing no. is I sleep mattress I alone no I charge I extra know. you flared you so offer flare services sleeping with then I'm charging extra so and if they want a bikini wax and uh, and they want uh, your diamonds in your groin anything anything beyond wow. the base rate of sleeping I'm charging extra so and, you prostitute wow. yourself completely okay. and totally okay. that's what a, respect it's a good skill is to it have. a good time to say the national song <laughs> no no perhaps not No, I mean I leave it to you you're the anchor I, I say we back off Selvis hmm. is death anniversary is a somber day also Parsi New Year even more somber um, Kaj- uh, Ka- Kajol, what's what's your specialized skill that you can offer? Uh, I she corrects men's sexuality, half. huh? No, I cut grapes in half. Okay, people what? normally cut grapes in half so when they're putting their fruit. shout grape, and- grape. No, that's not funny. Wrong. Shut I take up. it back. Take it back. <laughs> no. No, but when I've done it for people, they're like, the grape is so much juicier that way. And yes, Cyrus, we got that. Joke. No, no, no. Everyone's really? like, Vinish, you know, no, you're, right, you're, you're getting Vinny's reaction is right in my face. <laughs> I, I, the joke was terrible. It was, it was, it was, you know, I mean, it was wrong in every way. And I apologized immediately and she didn't even react. But, but Vinny gave me that, you know, I. Oh. <laughs> It's like this is the last meeting. <laughs> this is the last meeting I want with this guy. It was that look. Uh, oh, I want to cut both of them in half, like you cut the grape. I think if that could be done, I know that would be. Sorry, ideal. we're killing a story, bro. Yeah. So you cut grapes in half? Yes, that is my talent. That's it. <laughs> Talk about no climax. <laughs> <laughs> and you blame Chetan Bhagat. What happened here? And let's see, Meghna does it Meghna all. Meghna does it oh my too. God. Yeah, Nagpur Ooh, represent. It's all wow. the weirdos. It's all Meghna, the weirdos. And let me mention, as a practicing heterosexual, goes around cutting grapes in half with scissors. <laughs> this is his thing, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we do not have uh, Jatin Lalit performing. Instead, we have Meghna with scissors. <laughs> yeah, that would kill at an open but, mic. So no, so no. Speaking of services, huh. there is this uh, hire a boyfriend app. In Bangalore, okay, it's called Toy Boy. Hmm. It's a sexual you thing. Hire a boyfriend. It's I don't know. That's up to I the. Yeah, it's, it's 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 tiered, right? Yeah, it's up to the, oh, it's the oh, it's hierarchy depending on money. The, the yeah. gold, platinum, thirty ah, diamond vajazil tier is that. Why didn't I think that would be obvious? Of course, yeah. Have you tried it, Kajal? No, because I'm just thinking, who wants to date an engineer, man? Like Bangalore is full of engineers. Wow, wow. What a stereotype. Some engineer uh, hate no. coming out <laughs> here. The funny part is I'm, when I think wrong. about KL Rahul, engineer. Rahul Dravid, engineer. <laughs> Srinath, engineer. Anil Kumble, engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Even the famous ones are engineers. <laughs> what the hell's going on with Bangalore? You're right. Oof. No, I mean, Rahul Dravid is not an engineer. So that's three or four. It's an epidemic. But uh, why are engineers a bad thing? Keep in mind, Vineet is very much from an engineering school in Nagpur. Uh, I went from an engineering school in Bombay. And uh, I have uh, spent four years with engineers. You don't want to date them. Why? Just, okay, just, that's like no. prejudice. That's Hindu Muslim bashing. You know, you just no. That's not. Tribe. I, that, those <laughs> are two sort of different like issues. Not, Why? not even because close. Because all engineers are boring. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, let's be honest. Kajal, that really explains a lot of my youth, by the way. His skill was sleeping. It's okay to make uh, communal (laughs) points, but you can't make professional points. It's tribalism. It's all the same, isn't it? It's just colouring everybody. I will fight for my engineer friends. She she just explained a lot of my youth to me. What I liked about you, Vineet, is you didn't get angry. 
<laughs> he accepts yeah, it. Yeah, engineers accepted. suck. Yeah. Horrible socially. I, I was. <laughs> I, I have seen probably five thousand engineers very up close personally in my life. I know she's right. You know when you can't defend your tribe, what do you do, bro? That's like horrible. Yeah. But how do you think being an engineer shaped your personality? Like, had you not become an engineer, how would your personality be different today? What has? Oh wow, that's a, like deep. I need to lie down on a couch for that. Sleep, you'll sleep. We know if you do that. Well, you wouldn't know about people who fall in love with cars and all that, which is very engineering, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even know, man. It's not contessa, it's not contessa. No, man. I think I, I'd be better talking to women for sure, man. If I weren't an engineer. <laughs> I yeah. think I heard from yeah, there my aren't any women too. Yeah, there aren't no, any no, women, so you can't. Talk let's, to let's, them. let's ask Vinny this: If you don't get exposed to the ladies in your youth, in school, then in college, then in post, in very few, do you think you're socially backward with women? Because by the time you're in your twenties, you're either very frustrated and you want to jump on them, or you just don't know how to make eye contact in the first opening line. You know, you can see that. Yeah, yeah. The, the slightly more suave guys versus the guys who are struggling. Oh, for sure, for sure. I think you see it all around you, right? Like. Indians grow up. Indian men, especially, grow up not having a way to talk to women. They it's grow uncomfortable up, for life. Yeah, and, and especially with strangers. Like you know, yeah. when you meet a woman for the first time, you can tell the guy what an awkward guy. Right. Absolutely. Uh, Shares, I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, but yeah, that's true, right? We all have friends like that. That's terrible. I think yeah. we should think about this before we send the kids into the pit of engineering. I try to defend it, but I give up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cute how you're trying to defend. <laughs> I remember in Love Line, we used to get these messages from guys who they have this problem. Forget engineering, but they have a problem where they don't meet girls. So by the time you're 23 and you're trying to talk to a chick, you're screwed. Yeah, your technique is so bad that yeah. I look good. It's I mean it's ridiculous. <laughs> No, no. They actually say, "How do I? How do I? How do I approach her? Yeah. How do I approach her?" It was a little like ridiculous to ask, right? I mean, come on. Surely you, you got some way of saying hello. Yeah, in your mind, you're already like, "Oh, I'm gonna make her my wife." And bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Naam to jaan le yaar. They reach episode. They reach episode fifty two very quickly. Can I? Can I rain quickly. out here? Bahan, uh, Jhanji, please. I I went to a convent school. Okay, all girls. I had no clue how to talk to boys. I should get so damn embarrassed when I had to deal with guys in college. So it works both ways. But you've dated so many of your stories and sex capades and all that yeah, are now part later. of folklore. Yeah, but that's later. That is later. That is. Didn't look like you were awkward frankly. at all. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> point fingers, yeah, but seem quite forward. By the Hospital way, beds and I mean, I mean, look at how far she had to go. She's reading Chetan Bhagat for erotica. <laughs> I mean, I come on, on, on Twitter. To on find Twitter. Out how Twitter. Many. That's how far <laughs> she had to go. Complicated performance, yeah, and translated in Hindi simultaneously. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so now we know uh, what happens. Uh, to male engineers when they don't meet women and now we know what happens to women wow <laughs> you know what let's take a quick break and try to undo the damage these the institutions the translation will be far more vulgar than the english language when it's done on the spot right yeah. it'll be very difficult because yes. it just sound like a little more aggressive yeah every single thing you know like it a, sounded it sounded much hotter than the original the fem- the hindi was better the hindi was way better wow. wow so we've got the truth here chetan if he writes in hindi superstar Yeah. No, but it, so he has to translate Masram. his own. Words. But he needs that same Masram. translator which your space is have. So, so the genius is actually <laughs> in the Genre translator. Change. Who is that translator? The greatest writer in India. What's his name? Can you feature him next time? There were four of them. There were four of them. Uh, but uh, they they were interesting because uh, the the line in Chetan Bhagat was, and then Debu put a finger into her, and then there was silence, and the translator. Fir Debu ne ungli kia. Well, yes, technically that's correct. Because you've left it almost like a half-open <laughs> sentence in English, isn't it? Put a finger into her, only. Dal di. I don't want to say it. It sounds wrong. <laughs> Feeling turned on. We take a break to come back. I'm really okay, horny. He's very turned on. We kind of need a break. We'll be back. We need sit on my lap for five minutes, please. <laughs> Okay, listen. We forgot to mention, and uh, I think Himisha and a couple of others was it sort of. They've all said that they're mostly engineers who are on our live stream who are always with us, except for Girish, the huge, vet. You shout out to the engineers, a big part of. No, we have country. to apologize. Y- yeah, because you've been doing engineer bashing, so now you've got to take it back because you know, like our country, our listeners have decided to be very woke, and uh, I actu- you know, actually think that bashing comes from the both of us not being engineers. You know, it's just that it's almost. I'm a wannabe engineer. Yeah, I want. I would my love parents to be an engineer. Said, uh, son, if you could get into engineering, we can go to parties. Again, you know, yeah. So, beta, what do they do? Engineer, engineer. But now they can't. It's been forty years. My the parents can't go out. Bro, no, my 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 son Vijay. Or even worse, my son Vijay. My son is a comedian, but Insta pe nahi aata. <laughs> 
what I what I love the most about engineers is But how just an- answer me this. Once it was answer me this. You have to. Yeah. We all come from basic, uh, you know, middle class backgrounds here. How can our parents go out and talk about us? Just imagine twenty years ago, if you wanted to be a comedian, imagine mm. you're my age, right? And and you told your parents, I'm a comedian. That's what I do, and I'm going to band. You know, forget the food business. Forget all this. Yeah. What would have happened? <laughs> could you, you th- in eighty, eighty eight, ninety? You think you could have told your mom and dad, all right, let it be. I'll make some jokes and all. I mean, there was no internet and all that. What the hell? It's no, just ridiculous. You still can't tell your mom and dad that. You can't. can't. You I mean, can't. you can't now, and now there's some hope. <laughs> no, no. Even now, no. No, yeah. I mean, I know that many open micers. So what did you? Uh, oh, but you finished your engineering. Yeah. I've got a day job, sir. <laughs> that makes you got a day job. <laughs> yeah. What are you? Doing? What are you on the show at ten? Wait, how did you get this? Yeah. I, I'm a freelancer. Did, but didn't yes, you learn I, anything I, from my I Japanese have a story? Of money. <laughs> Huh? Uh, Japanese story but doing nothing I, I, I thought it would inspire a lot of people listening to the podcast to so stop <laughs> this country is no, working too hard my father was inspired by that only he didn't get paid for doing nothing he just <laughs> did nothing I can't wait for your book <laughs> Daddy's Little Girl by Kajol <laughs> 16 chapters putting down the guy <laughs> but uh, see I just so, want to come back to how engineers are multifaceted yeah. like I just love how they do different things all the time like while they're building the bridge they're listening to this podcast in which explains why elfinson bridge is still not up yeah. you know it's been many years yeah. what's going on there guys but let, let me tell you the south bomb okay i won't rant you tell me i don't think that's the engineer's fault i think that's the architect i don't think the engineers are ever at fault that I think it's the bureaucracy it's the bureaucracy correct absolutely so again blame game architect then engineer then bureaucracy and who suffers the man See. who's trying to go under the bridge forget <laughs> over the bridge so i don't even want to try mere ko bridge ke niche se jana padega that's it nothing more listen i went to a college where we We didn't have electricity for uh, seven hours of the day, so I know what sort of practicals we did. <laughs> so please blame. But one me second, engineers. please tell me electric, <laughs> electrical engineering course without electricity. I think <laughs> I won't. I think that's it's, like you guys will be super intelligent. Boss, we can make anything because we did electronic engineering without electricity. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah, like the world folding you just over. You had to set up the circuit. <laughs> you had to set up the circuit, and yeah. then the or the professor would make a judgment on whether it could work. Oh wow! If, 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 if it moved, yeah. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So. It's all. It's all. It's very romantic, you know. You gotta sort of imagine with your head. By the way, they're killing me here, Kajal. They put the AC off or they put it on high. I'm feeling sweat everywhere, Bye. pouring down. It's, it's 45 degrees heat. Today, I entered the gym in the morning. The gym uh, AC had been left on 26. It was off, but it has been left on 26 when I put it on. 26. Wow. There's some evil person out there who puts ACs on Psycho. 26. I mean, and, and you're worried about the right-wing <laughs> government. <laughs> Who's going to take care of all these issues? Bridges that don't get completed, and now this. Talk, All in one day. Talking about bridges that don't get completed, like the idea of is it a segue? Being a bridge, it's a segue. It's, oh, a segue. it's a segue. It's a segue. Lot of pressure here, Kajal. Please pay attention. Ha, bolo. Uh, st- storytellers and story sellers is a podcast that really that's makes the bridges of storytelling meet. Oh, yeah. that's your segue. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. wow, man, that is the nicest thing someone has ever said. Absolutely. Well, after is calling that you, the nicest after thing? Calling I'm so sorry. After that's the nicest I'm thing. I'm being nice. <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. You called him an engineer for the first forty-three minutes. Give him a break now. Come on. <laughs> But uh, do you want to tell us about your podcast? Why oh, you yeah. should listen to it? Always, man. Yeah. Um, Storytellers and story sellers is a show about the business of entertainment. You suddenly became like an African American <laughs> rapper, <laughs> na? Right. His hand went like that, na. Yo, what the hell? Expect me some pearls. Is that how you some. imagine African American rap? Nineties, nineties. <laughs> Run DMC was what? I remember this name. This was the first audition I did for Channel V. Uh, they give you a teleprompter and they stopped on this thing called Run DMC. I had no idea who they were. Huh. And I was like, okay. And I took off from there. I remember. But but so that name rem- remained in my head for. Forever. I have a good one here. Yeah. What would you call Run DMC if he was from Bombay? Uh, if you put it together, I get what you're saying. It's Run DMC. Number. No, Run DMC. <laughs> no. No. Wait, did you come? Aya, nahi kya? Did you come? Did you come? Did you come? Aya, nahi. Sab log ko aya. North, South, East, West, sab log ko aya. Kajal is falling down, and you, this engineer, you're so fucking straight. You don't get the dirty part of anything. Oh man! I went to I run BNC, man. Yeah, I know, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's intelligent humor versus the down humor. I'm the down humor guy. I'm, I'm, I'm working be... on it, Cyrus. I'm working on it. Uh, you, in the middle, few more shows, and I'll be there. Rishi is going berserk. He's coming, pulling people's mics and all that. Oh, he's also <laughs> like, an engineer. Out. You are out. He's you also can't. an engineer. We've <laughs> taken wrong panga today. Really. No, I actually love engineers. Started with the government, moved to engineering. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Mm. yeah. But uh, yeah, tell us so about your podcast. Does the government podcast. engineer anything here? Something for another day. Your podcast. <laughs> your podcast. <laughs> right. The plug. The plug. Uh, storytellers and story sellers. My show about uh-huh. the business of entertainment. Uh-huh. We talk to storytellers or creative folks from the business of entertainment and story sellers. So the folks who are like how many? I mean, how many accept that they've lifted the copy and all that? Uh, I've got a few of them to do. That. Do they honestly say? Um, not. I mean, not on the air. We're but the we're the king of inspiration. Are we, are we not? Yeah, fully. Come fully, on, let's not deep, lie about that. Yeah, deeply, deeply, deeply. This podcast is vaguely Joe Rogan. Yeah, I'm trying to lose hair also. <laughs> I'm doing my best. You know? <laughs> we're Joe Rogan without the money. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 
So names, true. names, one or two that you've. We've had uh, Usha Uttam, Sunita Rao. We've had uh, the founder MDs. There's two singers. Uh, well, uh, yeah, two singers. We've had uh, very recently Imbas Atam, who runs a company called Philo. They're solving the education crisis and training teachers and doing stuff like that, right? We had Saloni Gaur, a uh, comedian, very recently. Oh, yeah, I've interviewed her. She's great. Yeah, yeah she's. Fantastic. She does the Kangra Nakal thing, no? Yeah, 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 so yeah superb. Yeah, very so, nice girl. Yeah, so, so bunch yeah. of folks there, man. God, you got good people on your. F- you want to see what we have? Oh God, <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh <laughs> i'm not reading the comments we've gone very bad with the comments <laughs> gorov stop repeating yourself now they've lost interest in us just talking to each other this is terrible this is like being at my own wedding where i don't know anyone everybody else is having a good time nobody's even looking at you you're just sitting there like a loser <laughs> oh. um uh, yes by the way i just want to ask Have we done enough for Independence Day? I don't know, but we haven't talked about the other Independence Day, the the more pa- important one. The Pakistani Independence. No, Day. Taliban. One year of Taliban. Oh yeah, that Wait, happened. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I, 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 that this, happened. Just Sunday it was one full year of the one Taliban, full year of the Taliban, and they've done so much in terms of women empowerment, uh, sports to the masses. You know, the GDP is going to the roof. Commerce and trade expanding, infrastructure fantastic. They're almost a first world country in Quick one year. Question: Do you think there are any similarities between our state and Taliban right now in the way they're celebrating? Our clothes are. Uh, More less one-dimensional, I would think. <laughs> True. After some time, I I don't understand if opposition they actually have the opposition right in the the, the parliament now. Yeah. When they sit in the building. Right. They're all from the Taliban. So it's like whoever comes late is the opposition. <laughs> whoever comes first is the thing. And you know, and then there's no conversation really. <laughs> the boss will just say, okay, today we kill so and so. And if there are women on the road, you know what to do. Here are the whips, and they get on with it. I know. Oh, I heard that they've been pushing. There are some. Listen, there, there's some good news. There's some moderates in the party. They are allowing people to watch the EPL, English Premier League, because one of the guys likes Chelsea. So that's that's yeah, something. Actually, yeah, really. Wow. Yep. See, there's always hope, right? The moment they okay, chalo football. I mean, we don't expect more. We don't expect Mother Teresa to come out in the first week. We just okay. We'll start with that. We just have to get them into women's sports. And But then can you be... imagine if his team loses, how many people die around oh, him? Oh, yeah. wow. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang! <laughs> oh, ouch! Just kidding. Uh, any thoughts about the Taliban? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to live there. But beyond that. I mean, they're really trying I, to soften their image. I right? always have this dream. Don't call me an ultra feminist, but I have this dream where men who have problems with females, just just problems with women. You know, they're just really small men. The one day they get locked up with ten militant women, and the ten militant women have their way with that one man. You know, he's now isolated from his power structure. No weapons, no men around him, and Kajal and gang get him for a little while, and they say, yeah. "Ah, see, that that is thinking like a guy. That's thinking like Chetan Bhagat." Hey, hey, hey. I might switch sides. You criticize me, I'll switch sides. I'm always on the on the fence on these things. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to have our way with these men. I mean, think it's not really sexual, bro. I'm like you just putting through the whole really? book. So, so what? With the saying? translation, imagine okay. what he has to go through. Yeah, what she's saying is they're going to put him in that room and then ignore him. <laughs> so that's what they did to me. Oh dear God! At my wedding, <laughs> in a room, ignored. We don't want anything to do with you. The worst part is you go to a wedding and people aren't sure who the once the thing is over and people are milling around. You're not sure who the bride and bridegroom are. Some bride though you know because of the clothes, but bridegroom sometimes you may not know. Right. So a lot of people look almost the same with the headgears off. Then what happens? You wish the wrong guy, and this has happened. Wish the wrong guy because you know you don't know people well enough. That's so embarrassing. Man, congratulations! You know, I remember I was at a wedding once. I go up to this. Girl and I'm like I, I go up to the bride and I'm like that dance was incredible. She's like I haven't danced. That's my sister. So she was great. I'll just go and tell her. But I thought <laughs> what if that sister has always been the better looking one? <laughs> oh, you opened again. This whole Pandora box is continuous for the next. On the day years. of the wedding, she's thinking oh, about man, that. Ah man, Shreyas, you're evil. <laughs> you belong in the Taliban. As far as I'm concerned. Cuts by Shreyas. Yeah. <laughs> you will be uh, attacked by those uh, 15 militant women that I've gathered around uh, and put inside a small box. And Wait. made and made to watch Bold and the Beautiful. Oh, before your time. So, uh, Kajal, I want to ask, what would uh, what would be a way to torture a man? What would be a woman centric way to torture a man? Since this Chetan Bhagat idea, you have completely rejected. I, I, we don't want to like rape them. Okay? What? Just Dude, wait, nobody was what going there. Get, get out of the I, show. Okay, <laughs> then. Minute woman. Ah, this is silly flipping crap. Wait, where do you take it? Well, you no, I mean, this is not Fifty Shades is, of Grey, the reverse version. Just stop it, stop it, please. It's painful. I'm all for I'm all for violence and assault. Oh, and all, all for that. it. <laughs> I'm all for it. But you engineers, I tell you. Your way, no, no, that's completely like no. Done. Okay. Now uh, you know. Uh, no more questions for Kajal. 
जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टीम it was kajal once again the anchor is not prepared so, no, he's no. now going to go through all the information <laughs> from last week because this topic was supposed to be last week but uh, he's just woken up and yeah hey but uh, shiras there's also a nice comment which megnad found from a viewer of science can you call him shiras to the farm i like shiras it's like a parsi version of shiras <laughs> can't be bothered to get it right shiras hey shiras so karesh abhi ja shiras bas ja sit down sit down now tell me about yourself sir shiras Ah, Sharia. It's close to Sharia. You're right. We pass. There's a new oh, Parsi wow. name. From now, you're Sharias. Done. Okay. When you talk to Parsis, it's you're, done. You have a Baba. Uh, this thing, no host or landlord or Babi landlord lady. I previously did. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, I've Why? changed my house. No, you racist bastard. <laughs> She kicked me out it's, of the house. That's all, a different it's, it's story. It's all Hindu now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo oh, man uh, we lost another one from Nagpur bro <laughs> I don't know what to do I don't know what uh, to do What did she kick you out She basically I you're the kind of guy I think the elderly ladies were always like well, why would she kick you out You know also it was the same building where Ayaz uh, Memon lived in the same so building So ask him to help no they must love him No uh, basically what happened was that uh, the landlady was like the lock in period is over and we were like we can't pay anymore we have to go back to the city Huh. So they were like no you find people who will pay the same rent during the pandemic. Oh this was because of that you had to vacate and go yeah, back yeah, home yeah, for yeah. some time. Correct, correct, But that's correct, a tough correct. one yeah. from both ways. Correct. Yeah. Correct. If, they, if they're living off it I can understand yeah, yeah, how much sure. whatever. But with all the money you had why couldn't you pay? And I I don't know what money you think I have. You want them to google right now? Are net worth? My family is I don't she take money from my family. Rich, I don't take money from my family. What, what does that even mean? If Until you're a full grown, you know, member of society who pays for your parents' bills, you take money from your family. No, I think there's a point in the middle also where you don't pay. Very convenient. <laughs> As if there's a problem, dad won't bail you out. What are you talking about, man? It makes no sense to me all this nonsense. He won't. At this point, you this think is... Sparsh? Sparsh is 22 years old, come from Delhi. He's living That's off uh, the salary. Sparsh is only 22, 21 actually, but we allowed it, uh, pushed it up to 22, <laughs> so it doesn't look like you know child molesting and all that. But he basically uh, lives off the uh, salary. No. He, he wires they wire money to you right from Delhi. I I V M's money can't how I V M's money you survive you get everything all your all your pharmacy stuff and all. Yeah. Wow. No, say here, no. Ah, okay. say no you'll get a raise of 10k. Just say yeah. that yeah you. <laughs> One thing you must learn nobody who works in I V M admin listens to our shows. Okay, be very clear about that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, see, they have paid for my Colombia education. I was like, I can't take a single. Rupee He went to Colombia. He comes back and becomes a comedian in Habitat. I mean, of all the graduates from Colombia, this is the only one. There's one or two who went back to the Taliban or whatever. <laughs> so they regressed in that way. But this guy was. This is the good future. But uh, get out of Colombia. I got MNCs piling up for me. I got uh, options in the arts as well. But I'll come back to Habitat. There are forty people. If I push my relatives in, yeah. <laughs> बहुत सारा व्हाट्सएप स्पैम सब को बुलाया आजा 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 भी स्टार्ट हो जाएगा स्टार्ट हो जाएगा आजा बैंगलोर कहां है कोलम कोलंबिया रिटर्न कमेडी सी काजल काजल इज सेइंग समथिंग एंड शी नेवर लाइज व्हाट आर यू सेइंग अबाउट शेयर्स ही लेफ्ट अ प्लास्टिक कॉफी कप इन माय कार टू डेज बैक ओके एंड ही इज गोना सेंड वी फास्ट फॉर इट ऑल द वे फ्रॉम बैंड्रा टू टू कांदेवली लाइक एनीबॉडी एल्स हू जस्ट बाय अनदर कॉफी कप प्लास्टिक कॉफी कप एंड हाउ मच विल द कॉस्ट ऑफ द वी फास्ट बी आई डोंट नो इट्स वन ऑफ दोस हीटेबल कप्स दैट लाइक यू कैन टेक एंड इट्स अ थर्मस कप दिस इज नॉट रिच पुअर दिस इज मोर महाराष्ट्रियन थिंग यू डोंट यू डोंट हैव नो महाराष्ट्रियन फ्रेंड्स यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड काजल आई कांट एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू इट्स अ कल्चरल थिंग नाउ you know i mean that he won't sleep till he gets his damn thing back and if he tells his family they all not sleep everyone will be like what where's the cup in the meantime he's got covid whatever ha ha theek hai so where's the damn cup yeah. we are crisis <laughs> did you get the cup back or not i know i have to initiate the we fast still 
Wow. I'll do it. Sorry. Why I'll... can't you just get in a cab and go to a house? Wouldn't it be cheaper? <laughs> to Kandivli? Well, I, I, Vipas I, I, is cheaper. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to waste her her time also. No, 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 By the way, I, 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 I want to... What is she going to do with it? No, wait, wait. She'll leave the key somewhere. You go away, open the no, car, one, take the car, thing. Listen, Cyrus, Cyrus, oh. Cyrus. What would you leave in my car that would, that would make you come from South Bombay to Kandivli to get? 30 diamonds. You, Kajal. <laughs> I always come for the ladies. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we know we know why we're there. Thirty diamonds, see, yeah. See, I've got I've got Parsi blood, so I'll come for the women. Unfortunately, my good friend Shreyas comes with a coffee cup, and there's a naked woman in the car driving, and you'll be like, "Cup, cup, cup." You know, it'll be like that. I I bet you. Not driving. cups, I'm cup. Where's the single cup? No, no, cup. don't change the joke. Don't change the joke here. There's a copyright attached. <laughs> uh, by the way, I just want to set the record clear. Kajol spread a lot of. Can I just wish Hemisha and Harvesh Who are the two Parsis I know on the show And any more Who are on our regular Sal Mubarak Navroz Mubarak for Yes Absolutely Because I just saw their names So I think we should Yeah That's done Now we don't talk about them ever again Till next year You really You really Had to like ask for permission To even say that Because there's only 7-8 Parsis left Still It's like a roll call Adeshar Kemcho Sorab Kemcho Oh, Few, fewer Parsis than oh, Tigers. God. Oh God! We, we broke another one. Oh wow! Is that Vinny, a? Vinny, you broke another. Is one? that a good omen? Is that a superstition? It's a great omen. It's a great omen. I, I, I don't know. I feel. I feel like I'm a baboon or something. Every time they give me something, I break. I didn't intend to break it. It just broke. You know, thank God the coffee cup wasn't with me, bro. <laughs> uh, I just want to set the record straight. Uh, Kajol came and uh, spread a lot of slander about me that I didn't invite her to the party. I did one more house party. I invited Kajol. You call, yes, called me also. Yeah, you yeah. also didn't come. Yeah. And she also didn't come either. So, it, hey man, I wasn't invited. I next, you next home. one. What the next heck? one? What Nagpur privilege? <laughs> bro, bro, I'm just bro, feeling so bro, bad no, at this point. To engineer, right? <laughs> if the baja stops, they'll call you. <laughs> but yeah, light, light, not going. Here, fuse, how to go up? What will you do? There, girls and all there. Yeah, yeah, sure. You'll be auto play, like, guys. Yeah, in, in one corner, they'll all. Like, you'll be looking down at the floor because you want to make eye contact with the beautiful woman who opens the door and say, "Ha, problem? What is it? Wait, he, he saw me. Hey, I like him. Pasandu, bus in my head. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's why you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, tell me, a lot of people came for the party. Ah, uh, yeah, quite a few, quite a few people. Number de do? Twenty four, twenty five something. That's not a big party. Yeah, it was. But for a it house, it's a decent party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's a quality number. That would be like a good party. I would think yeah. in numbers. Yeah, yeah, because everybody sort of can chat with. You each know what other. would have made it perfect if it was twenty six with casual also there. That would have really put it. But <laughs> yeah, but I also mean, if it was more like sixty, then people like me would get you know hidden. So I could talk to other people's wives and they could talk to me. But otherwise, twenty four, twenty five is just all conspicuous. Yeah, yeah, there are no wives at my party. What? No wives? No wives. Wives. <laughs> Then I'll be like that uncle. Uh, gully, gully, come here, sit down. Let me plate your hair. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's right. There are like young wives. They want to say gully. Got married like a year ago. We used to say gully. Talk, talk to my generation. We actually used to say gully. The guys used to say that. You're like gully, gully to girls. When you were like twelve, how 13. old were the girls? Like, like young girls, like, like young, young, like girly. preteen or just about teen. So gully, gully. Ah, okay. Yeah. He was also preteen, Kajol. If you yeah. miss that part, yeah. yeah. He was also. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just preteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so Kajol, why do you bunk the party? I oh. okay, so I I don't really like the comedy scene, and <laughs> could have been a lot of them there. So I like Shreyas. Are there gonna be comedians there? Then I'm so first talking. it's engineers, wow. now it's comedians. <laughs> Vinny, 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 what next? Vinny, Vinny, bro? Engineers Vinny, and comedians yourself, are like yourself. it's a Venn diagram. These two liberal left of center comedians who are changing the world, movers and shakers of society, <laughs> the most humane people we know. All they do is hate tribes. Yeah, have you noticed yeah, that? Yeah, they screw everybody. Yeah. everyone they've abused. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And then they turn around the government, Kumaro. Government is very pleasant compared to you, brother. Terrible. What is this? Look at her. Terrible. She's like a racist, raving lunatic. Oh, I hate engineers. I won't come. I hate comedians. I won't come. I hate men. One I won't second, come. I hate diamonds. Listen. I won't. What's going on Matt, with these people? Maths, maths, Venn diagram, comedians, engineers. They're together. It was very comedians vulgar. That sign. Yeah, super Thank vulgar. God it's an audio. Language. Thank God it's an audio show. If another woman did that to me, my wife would start slapping me. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, guys, don't try that at home. Come on, Kajal. My mom yeah. is watching. What? Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> <laughs> what if she asks for an explanation? We need the kya hai. But it, mom, it's uh, actually. Kaise batao? <laughs> it's actually quite funny at every party. All comedians call before the party and is like, "Eh, hey, jada comedians to nahi aare na." I'm like, "Nahi, nahi, nahi aaja." <laughs> Every comedian See, is I like get that. There are yeah. two options, right? When you socialize, one you want your birds of a feather because you're feeling uncomfortable. One you're sick of them and you want to meet new people. I think that's the These problem. These are the two mostly, options. Yeah. So your group is now because it's a small group. <laughs> it's incestuous beyond belief. There are nine comedians. All nine know each other. <laughs> Plus they brought their relatives. So they became twenty-seven. Abi twenty-seven ko pechana barabar. Abi aage kya karne ka? Aage engineer doctor ke bahar kya hai? So comedians, doctors, engineers are allowed. You to find a fourth party. You need to find a totally different group. 
Ah. Why don't you come to Malbar Hill? There are all these guys in white SUVs who are driving up and down. They all seem lost. Okay. Yeah. Talk to them. You speak Chase Marathi. Make one or two of your friends and take them to your side for the party. <laughs> I'm right. willing to pay for the sea link. Wow. I'll stand there. The link paying for them. Tuck, 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 tuck. Even though they don't have to pay. You just want to get them out of your area. That's what you want. Yeah, but I want to also make your life better. <laughs> sure. So I... you can now mingle and casually say, "Who are they? Who is so? Who is government servant? Come here." And she'll be, "Wow, government servant! Yes, yes. Who needs comedians?" Vinito has already reached your house. He's so excited. I'm already there. Bro. I'm standing outside. Come, come, come. <laughs> don't waste that degree, bro. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's let's go to AMAs. Uh, I see that many questions haven't been included because there were death threats because we talked shit about engineers. Thank you for removing those questions. Follow me at Instagram and Twitter on Board Brocha. I'm so bored. I need your help. I need your love. I need your touch. Okay, just, just, just follow me. Girish Patel asks, "What was your experience of driving on the Mumbai Pune Expressway recently?" There was a. Wait, listen. Sorry, sorry. Please get interrupt. Arpit is in a beautiful message. I have to read it out. Yeah. Can you put Arpit's message up, please, Rishi? Engineers, okay, as it comes up, engineers she does not like. Comedians she does not like. Engineers are the only ones who can afford to be audience, and her co-workers also she can't stand. That's beautifully put. All right, those who watch and no, those who are with you on stage. There's a problem with it. There's a problem with it. You hate your people. No one is my audience. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I wish I knew where this audience was. No one is my audience. I hate everyone. Okay. Go, listen, on. listen, listen to me. Your comedic voice is because you feel a sense of not lack of success. The moment you become successful, comedians are washed up. Okay, so pray that you I remain true to your art. I know what you mean, Sai. I'm telling you, they have nothing to say. Then what are you going to do? I got a jet. Yeah, I got a bungalow. I'm now part of an administration. I'm part of everything. I don't want to break any rules because everything's great. No, no, no. Be happy the way you are. Right. And then you make jokes about airline food. Or or Malbar Hill. वो कैसे कॉमेडियन है बैंचो मलबर में रहने के बाद. How bad is your life? It starts with folks in Malbar Hill. The guy saying what? क्या जो है? That's no. That's negative. One more question for you. Uh, yeah. So, how was your experience driving on the Mumbai Pune Expressway? Because recently oh, there was the a death, death Vinayak, of a prominent politician. Yeah, yeah and it took. Oh, but I, can, now you want to talk about that seriously? Because we do drive a lot going to Alibag and Pune or whatever. You also drive going to Nagpur. The thing is, there are these guys who are. I am not saying that driver was did that because I don't know the facts. The hit was from the left side. Only he apparently died. He was on the left. But the thing is, there's some arrogance with people who drive a lot. Hmm. You know, my wife, if she's, I'm in trouble if she's watching. But she does that hmm. because she knows the road so well. They seem to drive much faster. You know how ah, you are when you yeah, enter yeah, your yeah, area, yeah, 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 you yeah. enter your ilaka. You're just more arrogant, yeah. So this is what I've noticed. And those guys just believe they own every inch of the road. Right. Without, it's just become proprietal in their in their body language. And there's a lot of bad driving is there definitely on the highway. What do we do? I think the solution to that is that you should only allow people who don't have licenses to drive. I'm saying for one year, everyone on cycles. Now you're talking. Health also improves yeah, immediately. Sure. We save the environment, and chances are, how much can a if one cycle bangs another cycle, what's the worst? Our wrist is paining. You know, I mean, it's not that bad, yeah. Come on. Suddenly, the entire country is a Tour de France. <laughs> it's, it's actually such a manly sport, but it, it, it really is. It's like baddie. Baddie gets a bad rap, but it's a very manly sport. Yeah. But you think because Jitendra song and all that, that they've got limp wrists and they're walking slowly. You watch a really tense game of badminton. It's as manly as you can get. You know, fastest game ever. Yeah. But bad rap unnecessarily. Cycling also. People think it's an easy uh, cycle. Cycle. Have you cycled uphill? No, yeah, bro. Crazy. I still haven't recovered. This was four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Cyrus, my guess is that you usually cycle when you have a fight with your wife, and she's no, like, no, "You no. don't." Uh, back in Malbar Hill, where all my problems are, early morning we have this breed called cyclists. Also, okay, who take over our little lanes and roads now, and they chat with each other, and they just, they are supposed to just drive slowly behind them. Anil Ambani was famous for that. He would be running on the road and his, uh, you know, Mercedes or whatever fancy car, better than Mercedes. I can't. Maybach, maybe. The guy is driving in first in a Maybach <laughs> at the pace of this guy running, and three bodyguards who don't want to run have to run also. <laughs> They are thinking worst job. Nobody mentioned the running early morning. Five days, uke sab ko bhagana hai. I mean, what the hell? And then they have to pace. They can't go ahead. They have to pace. Huh? So pacing while running is another headache. Oh, you can't yeah, find yeah, your rhythm yeah, also, yeah, even yeah, if you yeah. are a bit of an athlete. Correct. So that's going on. So I'm just saying, cyclists do the same thing. They just overtake the. Actually, it's not just Malbar. All over Bombay. In, On the weekend, you can see these guys going berserk. Yeah, everybody's in great. It's good for the environment, good for health and all. But what happens to the motorists? It's not good for your. We health. are the minorities of the road. Do you understand? Yeah. All these guys on the pavement, they break the one ways. They go anywhere they want. They chat in the middle. They on their phones. They stop for no one. And what happens to us? We get the chalan. Uh huh. Only we get the chalan. This is Malabar Hill comedy, right? Malabar Hill comedy. <laughs> There you go. Super Malabar Hill comedy. <laughs> the book is called The Rich Feel Pain Too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Ban. Uh, hey, why aren't you taking the comments? I mean, yeah. No, I'm taking the AMAs. But any question, uh, any comment you want to talk okay. about? Okay. Nandish is saying, wait till the cyclists start wearing lycra. Huh? Then they'll uh, take it up a notch. Have you seen the ma- male Indian males in lycra? I mean, should that be allowed? <laughs> I don't want to be sexist, but should, I mean, women with good figures, one thing. But you I mean, know, oh, even women with bad figures, one thing. I'm reaching into like really but you, <laughs> repressed memories right but, now. Like I never want to see it again. Never want to think about on, it. He's next to you. He's on a cycle, and and, and his stomach is nicely ensconced in a little <laughs> box, which is purple. Like kangaroo it's purple. Pouch so it stands out in color because it's green and purple. You know, it's one of those Avenger outfits for a guy with non-athlete Avenger, and and, and it's all purple. Ah, oh, God, it's horrible. Beautiful. You Beautiful. can't wear lycra. Lycra is for the supreme athlete, I would think. <laughs> uh, I would let you wear it, Shreyas. I am a supreme always, athlete. Are yeah. already wearing lycra? Sorry? I see them in lycra. Who? Cyclists are already wearing lycra. Yeah, most of them. Go, they all see Indians, yeah. no? the rich Indians. They get the gear right. They don't, <laughs> that's all that's important. It's like the gym. The guy with the gloves. You see a guy with gloves, you should start punching him. You see a guy who brings a mat into a weight room, you should put him on the mat and stamp on him for your warm up for squat. <laughs> you know? Because it makes no sense to me why they're here. The guy puts the gloves on like he's going out the back. You're not such a fucking Tendulkar. Get under the bar. What the hell? I'll put a glove. Then I'll put another glove. Then I'll put powder. Then I'll wipe. Then I'll watch TV. Then I'll wipe again. Then I'll put the mat down and I'll just bang my head on the floor for two minutes. Reverse spring. I don't get it. Stupid. But you know what? I get it from their perspective because there's nothing as productive as buying gear. Where like you get you, satisfaction. You feel like you're part of the tribe. Yeah. You feel like you're yeah. going to work out for the next hundred days without having to. You, you know? what you picked up is the bad pronunciation. Kajal, you women are all the yeah. same. The way you treat us. No, he's making no, a very no, valid very point. Delhi. All you could get is gear. Very Delhi. The, 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 the gear is gear. Listen, okay, we've taken over the like, English language. We all have screwed it up. Now let's not get into that. That's another podcast for another day. I mean, I, I really feel for you, Shreyas, at this point, right? You're getting like counselling from from Cyrus. You're getting English lessons now from Kajal. It's, it's, it's a teachable. That's moment. fine. I'm always no, no, learning. I, I like his uh, thinking here because I agree totally. It's not just in sports or whatever. In everything, right? The moment we are in that. Like you're going to become a singer or whatever. You're supposed to buy a manuscript. Suddenly, you know, they, they they buy clothes for performing and all. The guy's a terrible singer. You know, yeah. looking at forty, for example. Yeah. You know, Carnatic vocals. But while buying that, he has won all the awards. All the his, awards, yeah. everything. You change yeah, yeah. the background <laughs> in the room and all for the performances will be on Zoom. But yeah, come on, <laughs> get on with it. Yeah. Uh, again, Abbas it comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Saras, one more question for you. How do you say "shut up" to your partner without hurting them in a creative way? Male or female? Oops. <laughs> 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 a, a just question, my lady. Engineer, sir, ये अलग-अलग बात है, right or no? <laughs> yeah, actually, tell for both, no. For, tell for, for both, both no. Yeah, yeah. Ah, तो अभी वापस नागपुर पहुंच गया. I don't understand from Valkyrie or I can't pick this up. Have you heard Amit speak English? <laughs> It's very, very high polluting. Ah, <laughs> uh, so how do you? What's Can the you question? provide us with examples for both the instances that have been uh, mentioned here? Both how the genders. Tell, stop talking. Hurting her. No, no. With my wife, I, I, if you're married and you're stuck with the person, maybe lifelong, you can't get out of it, uh, because it's not easy. The financial repercussions and all that is a lot. Uh, there, I think I have a very simple solution, and that is honestly, if you remember in school and in college, how do we get through the lectures? You have to get into a zone where you're not listening, yeah. but you pretend to listen. Mm. I do that really well, like the whole podcast. For example, <laughs> I don't even know what you said, frankly. <laughs> but so my my wife actually she goes into a very high sort of range. While talking, sometimes when she's suddenly animated, which is most of the time, it's very painful, yar. So what I do is like the last few moments of Lata Ji, you know, when the voice was not great. Let's be honest. Towards the end, the voice was fading. So it's like that's got this high, cracky sound. Sound, and uh, so I just it it goes in, and I just have the thought bubble of nothingness, <laughs> and I'm you know, and she, but she might be saying, you know, my aunt is dying of cancer. We should go and help her. And I'm like, great, great, great. Because I'm totally like, you know. But I'm in the moment, but I'm not listening. So I think right. that that's a gift. You just tune out. Did you do that in school, Kajal? In engineering, how do you get through it? Surely the lectures were back in the day when you. I mean, how do you get through it? No, we didn't have lectures in engineering. No one came to college. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's one like to another. That's extreme. why the bridges are ready. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, no electricity for electronics. No, no teachers for civil engineering. What's left? I think bridges are getting ready so that the engineers can jump off it later. Oh, stop that! That's so not that, even. That's not so even funny. Segue. Segue. No, so that they can do the underwater engineering and build submarines. So, What are you talking about? तेरा बचाने का टेक्निक बहुत बढ़िया है सर। I'll come in. I'll save you. Right? The only bridges that engineers are building today are between storytellers and stories. That's nice. Cool. Nice. Check out the podcast. Save, good uh, good new save, episode good coming save. out very yeah. soon. Right? Yeah. Every Thursday. New Every episode. Thursday. In yes. cricketing terms, the ball went from G R Vishwanath's hands. Uh, he uh, hit the top of his palm, and Gavaskar second slip got it. Got it. Correct. Fair enough. Fair enough. Cyrus, any memories of Rakesh Junjun? Wala, you wanna share? Actually, uh, interact with him uh, maybe four, five oh, times. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, once by mistake at the airport, <laughs> but. Uh, 
otherwise at events and all that. He's a really very easy going guy. The thing is that we are so intimidated by money, right? Yeah. Especially people from my side of Bombay. Where right. all we, everybody talks only money. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. grow up where you know you're complex because you have only one car. Correct. When the other guy has four and all that. We, that's our suffering, relative suffering. So he was like a, you know, he's like a Viv Richards or a Sachin Tendulkar right. or something in that world. Right. And he was that. And so, in, I was a little intimidated or a little uncomfortable initially, but he is so easy to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, even though you don't know much about uh, equity and all that, obviously, you can talk to him. You can actually talk to him about his subject. He doesn't care that you don't know anything. That you, it obviously Correct. sounds naive and innocent when you say, Bajaj Auto, uh, okay, <laughs> share. You know, clearly, you don't know anything. But he, he wants you. He talks back. So, I, I have very good memories of him. He's very nice. But the only one thing I'll say is that he was always unwell. It's been like years. Ah. Uh-huh. So that must be a message to everybody, engineers and non-engineers, to go and get your health checked from time to time. There seems to be a lot of people in their 40s, 50s and 60s who don't know how bad it is until it's too late. Mm. Right? Right. That's what this podcast is all about, to heal people and help them. Come, (laughs) hold hands, sit in a circle. And and if you're one of those socially awkward people, hold your own hands, but (laughs) stay in the circle. (laughs) Uh, How rich are you, Cyrus? Ishan Palit asks. We have only heard stories... About uh, I mean, I'm, I'm owning rich. all the properties rich, in South but I, I can't say that I, I suffered. You know, I, I, I wish I had more suffering stories to tell growing up. Mm. Everybody, you know, you've got to have some legend in your life. No matter what you do, you've got to have some legend. Mm. So I have to make up stuff. And that's why I made up a story about uh, growing up in Rawalpindi and stuff like that, which is somewhere there on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made up a lot of stuff about being a... Re- in, when I was in America studying in Lee Strasberg, I said I was a refugee from Afghanistan. This is before 20, uh, 9-11 and all that. So it was okay to say all these things. Yeah, because they, they don't... They don't respond unless you give them a story. People Absolutely. want a story. Absolutely. There's a guy who came from Beijing who you know who lost his family in a flood and all that. And he was talking about it, and I was next. Yeah, because it was in uh, chronology, and he was like uh, he was with Si Chin or Chang or some. I can't remember his name now, but a lovely guy. But and struggling with English, but he told a very passionate story. Now to tell a story. I'm like, well, my story growing up, uh, daddy used to smoke in the car and I used to cough. <laughs> not, not the same as what he's just shown them. So then I had to make myself... Yeah, you can't talk about Malabar Hill traffic yeah. after that story. No, they don't get can't. that. Yeah, really. And not in an acting class, you know, where everybody's left of center. Yeah. You know, the moment you have an elite tag, that's the worst person to be there. And let's be I'm honest. like Donald Trump in an acting school, you know? No. If it's an acting <laughs> class, you better lie, otherwise you're not yeah. taking it oh, seriously. Oh, that's the writing yeah. class in the acting class. Yeah. yeah, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, last uh, question from Raghu Govind, Hi, Cyrus and Panel. What's one concept or invention you think that's at least 20 years late? Um, Uber? Have we failed with rickshaws for so many years? I mean, I would think Uber is a godsend. Have we failed with rickshaws? Well, again, you idiot. You weren't even alive in the 80s. You called a rickshaw, nobody answered. You know that. You stand in Bandar and go, rickshaw, nothing happens. You stand in Andheri, you go, rickshaw, nothing, nothing happens. happens. Wow. You go next to a rickshaw, go, rickshaw, nothing happens. <laughs> That's still you have no idea what 80s and 90s were. These guys are so hated. They're hated still, but they're really hated. Ask anyone who lives in the suburbs of rickshaws or South Bombay about taxis, back at Kali Pili. Just, we were war. Yeah. We were, one, one I, I can, do just, one I can talk tax. about them for half an hour. When was the last time you called for an Uber and it came? No, I don't uh, call for Ubers. I always get someone else to pay. So my whole thing is that I don't <laughs> use the app. <laughs> But I get no, but put in Ubers an Uber. don't come nowadays. They keep you waiting yeah, for that's 15 true. minutes. I, I, that's true. But huh? Amit, by the way, Amit Doshi, uh, Dr. Doshi, our leader, he has got a citation. You guys don't know this. The first year Uber was here, they took 12 Mumbaikers in Mumbai, Uber Mumbai, who have given them the most business. Whoa. Out of the top 12, Amit Doshi. I mean, big names. Rathan Tata, <laughs> uh, Anand Bhindra, you know, I mean, you know, the Amit Tendulkar, <laughs> and then Amit Doshi in the middle. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, those guys try to save money because he's got these big cars and all that. And, but this guy, but he, I swear my mother, he got a citation and he brought it to office in the old office and all. It was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Wow. But from there, where see how the business started with them really promoting, giving you great schemes. There was no this uh, up-down, uh, uh, what's it called? Surcharge thingy right. and all that. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. Right. And uh, exactly opposite of what Kajal said. You, in, in fact, it would be too early. You, you get on the thing, you uh, put the thing in and boom, in two minutes, the guy's already down calling you. And you're like, what? It wow. was that fast. Wow. Initially, it was really good, right? Yeah. Kajal, do you remember? Yeah, initially, it was very good. Superb. But for the last, I mean, year, I think. No, during the pandemic, it got worse go. and worse, I think. It but is, I think, like, let's 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 be honest, the people who are most unfortunate in this are the drivers who are not being paid enough and who are working uh, through bad that. conditions. You know right? how many comedians, because first they were paying 75 grand and all, many comedians joined the Uber. Yeah. Akash was telling me. <laughs> 
it's Akash's wedding. It's Akash's wedding. Uh, oh, please wish Akash uh, congratulations. Today's the wedding. Oh, today's the wedding. Oh, I think you got married yesterday. Oh, sorry, the wedding wedding. Yeah. Your function. Your function. Yeah. Well, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but it's in South Mumbai, so you, if you're invited, you can't make it. You won't yeah. make it. It's so pointless. Yeah, yeah. There's no place to park the cars. Don't even come. All right. No, I thought you said comedians work in cabs because every comedian has a joke. And I ordered an Uber, and the Uber didn't come, which is why I think they should. They might as well be taxi drivers at this wow. point. Wow. So he called his friend to pick him up. Is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Got I have it. to go. Actually, I'm a little late. I have to get an OTP from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Still invited. Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay. Thank you uh, so much, Vineet, uh, for coming on hey, this episode. Thank you for actually turning up twenty minutes late. At twenty, it oh, was God. one minute late. Yeah, it was one oh, one two shit. minute late. I like the way he's taking control of the show now. <laughs> the man wasn't even here. I mean, what the hell? That's what you get to have when you have Nagpur engineers come in. Oof. <laughs> That, that's what you get. It's complete and takeover. Actually, uh, here's another paradox because you're on the timeline of India, right? Nagpur is that that line, the central line of India. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So where mm-hmm. the time is exactly correct, it's yeah. not up, not down. So your time should be f- perfect, the most punctual. Yep. And this is this is my time is right only. This time is what's. Oh, you've changed oh, the time. Oh. We didn't you get, get the memo saying that it's ten ten. Not different 10. time zone. Okay, there. Fair enough. Kajal was here at nine thirty. Desperate for attention, and I was the only Fuck person. Fuck off, Cyrus! I was here at nine fifty-seven. <laughs> ah, just yanking your chain, baby. <laughs> okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. Send us your questions on Twitter on Cyrus says in, or you can email us, even if you're not female, on what Cyrus says at gmail dot com. 